In this video, we'll look at how to import new custom templates for digital notebook covers into GoodNotes, and then we'll move on to how to actually apply them to your notebook. So just in GoodNotes, uh, you will come up to the cog in the top right corner, which will bring up your preferences. So you're going to go into notebook templates, and this is where you can import page templates or cover templates. So choosing notebook templates. So we have two options here. We have cover, which gives you your cover options and we have templates, which gives you your page options or paper options. So I'm going to choose cover. And now what we can do in terms of organizing, you can actually create um, different, I guess they're effectively folders. So if you choose the plus icon up in the top right of this pop-up window here and I'm just going to call this um, collection demo. See so these are your collections, how you'll organize them. So we'll call that one demo and it has appeared down the bottom here. Okay so now we need to import the actual um, cover designs themselves and so you should also note you have the difference you can choose between landscape and portrait. So I'm working with portrait and if you have if you're working with different sizes you can choose those over here so i'm just going to go with good notes standards and portrait and now i'm going to import my designs into my demo collection so import i have previously saved the files uh, into the cover files into my um, iCloud files folder. Uh, if you like, you can actually save them into your um, photos on your camera roll and import them from there. So two options there. So I'm going from files and sorry, you could also obviously save them into Dropbox and access Dropbox and so forth from here too. Now this is the folder that I've imported them into. I'm going to choose select and I'm going to click and drag to select all six of those because I want to bring them all in. Okay, and then I'll just click open. And this brings those six covers in there for me. Okay, now at that point I could just click done up in the top left. But firstly, what you'll notice is up here uh, where we have paper and covers, I don't currently have a default cover chosen. So if you wish, you can allocate a default design so that every time you create a new blank notebook, it will use that um, cover for you. Okay, so I'll just set that up and click done. Okay, so that has allowed us to create a collection to store or to organize our covers into, to import those covers in, to allocate a default for each new notebook if we want to do that. So now it comes time to finding a notebook that we want to change the cover for and doing that. So this is my notebook down the bottom here. I'm going to open that. So that's what I'm working with. I And I'm going to change the cover. Now, one thing to notice, so this is my rose gold 12 tab notebook. At the moment, as part of the design, that cover is interactive, meaning I can click on the tabs on the cover and it takes me to different sections of the book. When you replace the cover of a notebook, you do lose the functionality um, that's embedded within the, the actual programming of that cover. In most cases, notebooks should be designed that they're smart enough that that doesn't matter in the respect that you're not losing anything unique. So for example, if I replace this cover, all I have to do, uh, you'll see that my page two is my index and this star in the top right is my shortcut for the index. So regardless of where I am in the notebook, if I had replaced the cover, I could just go index to come back to page two and swipe to come back to the cover. So we'll do that once I replace this as well. Okay, so to replace this cover, I'm coming up to the three dots in the uh, top right corner here and I'm coming down to change template. So change template will bring me back up to that similar um, uh, templates window and instead of papers up the top center I'm choosing cover and now I have all of my covers that I have um, imported previously or the default covers that come with um, the the good notes application and I can choose from any of those so we'll go with the pink and apply so that's just saying um, anything that was already on that page will be lost because effectively you are deleting that 
original cover in order to replace it. So apply change. Okay, so this is the new cover. You will see that um, having replaced it, it's a different design. It doesn't have the tabs. Whoops, it's got a bit crazy. Um, so, and again, to move past it, we just swipe. If you're working with a notebook that doesn't have the same sort of functionality in terms of a shortcut that will take you back to page two to allow you to swipe, you can always use your grid, um, your thumbnail grid up in the top left corner there, the two by two boxes, and be able to move from page to page quickly there as well if you need to come back to your cover. Now that you have replaced your cover, when you come back to your bookshelf, you'll see that reflected in the thumbnail. So I'm working with this one down in the very bottom, um, bottom right corner. So that's it.